If you need to use Google Meet to hold a virtual meeting with students or staff members, you can do so by going onto the GSCS portal and clicking on Google Apps. You will then see an icon that says Meet. Click this icon to be brought to meet.google.com. Make sure you are logged in in the top of the browser with your GSCS account, and then you can start a meeting by either clicking the New Meeting button or by entering a unique code or nickname. Some staffs may have chosen to use the same code throughout the year for staff meetings or for other virtual meetings. Only individuals within GSCS can enter a unique code or nickname and be brought to the same meeting. That means that you need to be logged in with your GSCS account in order to use this feature. If I press New Meeting, I can create a meeting for later, start an instant meeting, or schedule a meeting in my Google Calendar. Let's press Start an Instant Meeting. Once in the meeting, you have a few options available to you. First of all, you can find the Google Meet link right here where you can press the copy button and email it out or post it in a virtual classroom for others to join. At the bottom, you have your navigation. You can see here that I can mute myself. I can turn my camera on and off. I can raise my hand and I can even turn on captions. The box with the up arrow in it allows you to present to everyone in the meeting. When you click this box, you can choose to present your entire screen, a window, or a tab. The tab option is the best for video and audio. If you choose your entire screen, it means that individuals will be able to see what's happening on your entire desktop or computer screen. If you choose a window, they can only see the internet browser you are in, and if you choose a tab, they can only see a tab in that internet browser. Whatever option you choose, you will be asked to then choose the icon that looks like the screen you are wanting to present. When it is highlighted, you will then be able to press share. You can see that now you are presenting your screen to everyone in the meeting, and you can still see yourself in the bottom. When you want to stop presenting, you have a stop presenting button here as well as at the top. Using this more options button will allow you to record your meeting, use a whiteboard using Google Jam, change your layout, enter full screen, visual effects, as well as change your settings to choose different microphone and speaker options and video options. If you are the host of the meeting, you also have host controls where you can decide on how much control or access individuals joining your meeting will have. Over on the bottom, you will also see a chat button. This will open up the meeting chat, a participants button that shows anyone in the group, as well as an all muted button or an activities page where you could click the whiteboard button and start your jam. When you are done the meeting, you can press leave call. And if individuals are in the meeting, it will ask you if you want to end the call for all participants or if you just want to leave it. If students are in the call, please press end the call. If someone emails you a Google Meet link, you can click on this link and it will bring you to this home screen as long as you are logged in with your GSCS account. You can from here turn off your microphone or your camera and then press the join now button.